Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about Riemann sum tables. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. We have the integral from 0 to 10 of f of x dx, and we have a table that corresponds with it, and we need to use the left-hand Riemann sum to approximate this integral. Okay, so we were given the table here, and so the first thing I'd like to do here is figure out the width of each one of our rectangles. So I find the width between each one of these x values. So the width between 0 and 2, well, is just 2. The width between 2 and 5 is a 3. Between 5 and 7 is 2, and 7 is 10, is 3. Okay, so these are our widths we'll be dealing with. Now, they tell us this is a left-hand Riemann sum. So, let's label it as left-hand here, okay? And the width, or the area of each rectangle we want to find. Well, the width times the height, right? The area is the width times the height. So, we take the width of a 2, and we have to multiply it by some height for this first one right here. Now, I said it's a left-hand Riemann sum, so I go to the y value, or the f of x value, on the left-hand side, which is 2 plus the next width, which is a 3, times the left-hand Riemann sum, is that 3 value here, plus the width of 2 right there, times, again, left-hand, 5, the height value, right? And the last width is a 3, times its height, which is a 7 on the left, okay? And now we have to simplify this. Well, left-hand sum, we have the 2 times 2 gives us the 4, plus 3 times 3 is the 9, plus a 2 times 5 is a 10, and a 3 times 7, good old 21. Now we want to add all of these together, and it comes out to be a 44. And so a 44 is the approximation, right, using left Riemann's Riemann sum of our integral function here. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.